Ah, content farms. Something that has begun to spread like wildfire throughout the YouTube landscape, with some of the most prominent ones including characters from media like Poppy Playtime, The Amazing Digital Circus, Roblox, Minecraft, and of course, FNAF. Now, I have made two videos about this topic, going into the depths of YouTube to find the most scummy channels on the platform, and let me say, I came out of it this time finding arguably the most insane content farm in the entirety of YouTube history. I have never seen such content farms produce this much slop to be consumed in my entire life, and the more I dived into it, the more dumbfounded I got. After exploring into this rabbit hole, I think this might have been the last time I delve into a content farm, because if I were to be making a full video talking about everything I discovered about this monopoly, it would be hours long. So today, we're only going to be taking a look at one channel, instead of the entirety of all the channels combined, and we might also take a few quick glances at the couple of other ones, but this is YouTube's most insane, crazy, brain rotted, whatever keyword fits, FNAF content farm, or well, content farm in general, also known as top 10 gaming. So usually I can easily format my scripts for my videos, but due to the heaping amounts of evidence I have uncovered about this, I may be all over the place, and it's for good reason. I'm going to try and keep this as organized as possible, with me doing that by categorizing this video into different segments, with those being intro to the channel, content of the channel, issues with the channel, owner of the channel, and lastly I will be talking about the effects this content farm has had on YouTube, the host, and so on. I would like to note one thing before starting this video, this video is not made to slam the people shown throughout, and this video is strictly made as an analysis into the channel itself, along with the other channels that are affiliated with it, and also with some people behind it, and what goes on behind the scenes. I do not condone any hate into said channel or people affiliated with it. Anyways, with that lengthy intro out of the way, let's get into this rabbit hole of a channel. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen this channel before, as it has been featured in another very popular FNAF YouTuber's video, with that being Ayaz YouTube's worst FNAF content farm video, where he goes into detail about the channel, but unlike that video, we will take a even deeper dive into the channel. Top 10 Gaming has over 600,000 subscribers and posts daily videos regarding, well, you guessed it, gaming. Looking at the channel, we can see many videos, with the majority of them being FNAF related, and wow, look at those thumbnails and titles. One of my favorites being FNAF Theories That Gave Me an Ulcer, and trust me, after watching that video, it too gave me one also. I mean, there's like, come on bro, like that is so pathetic. Here, I mean, let's just let's just watch the first couple seconds of it, let's, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Number 10, Jack Black. Because of Jack Black, Black's love of FNAF with him playing it on Markiplier's channel with his son and making FNAF TikToks, people have theorized that he might be in the movie. Okay, how does Jack Black being in the FNAF movie give you an ulcer? I don't understand. Now, before I get ahead of myself, because trust me, I really want to, let's just use our smooth brain rotted brains for a second here and let's use some context clues. Number one, why is she speaking in the past tense? Like, why would you say this? Might be in the movie. What do you mean movie? Wouldn't you say the FNAF movie too or something along the lines of that? That. Two, how does Jack Black give you an ulcer? I mean, just look at bro. But Max has brain. Like, that doesn't make sense. Bro does not give people ulcers, I can, I can assure you. Okay, so now I'm sure you can see what's going on here, but if not, let me show you something else real quick in this video. We are 10 minutes into a 50 minute video, so why are we at number one already? Well, that's because the countdown just resets afterwards and the video just does this until it ends. So now let me explain what's going on here. And before I do, I'd like to say a majority of this information was given to me through a source that was very close with the company that made Made this channel, along with the 30 other ones that it owns, so I can say this with 100% certainty that this information I am presenting is true, but due to legal reasons, I am keeping them anonymous. Also, I found out a good amount of information through some research into the channel as well, as it's not very hard to find the scummy things this channel has done, along with some of the other ones that we will showcase in this video later on. As a majority of the scummy things that these channels have done can still be seen on YouTube today, which is insane once you figure out what it is. So from the information I was able to get Rather, this channel works as a company with one goal in mind, to make money and money only, as most content farms do. So how do you do that? Well, by milking something that works till it's dry, which unfortunately turned out to be FNAF. The channel has a team of people working behind the scenes, some of those being managers, editors, hosts, thumbnail creators, and so on, you get the point. With the majority of the employees there taking on multiple jobs to reduce workload, and most importantly, spam out massive amounts of content. From the best of my knowledge and what I could research, the higher ups think of the video idea, which includes crazy keywords to promote higher clicks and views in the videos. 
during that process, multiple thumbnails would be made, and a group decision would be made to decide which one would garner the most clicks. Whatever one wins gets to be the thumbnail for that video. Now, while all of that is happening behind the scenes, the hosts face an entirely different issue figuring out what to talk about. Yet again, from the best of my knowledge I was able to research and find out from my anonymous source, the host would be in charge of the script writing, but were most of the time not in charge of the title of the videos, which means these poor hosts would have to bull out a top 10 video of whatever the title was made for them. Hence why we have videos like this. Oh yeah, you also can't forget how these channels just assign each host a random topic. Now apparently they don't always do this, but sometimes someone who doesn't know jack about FNAF would be talking about FNAF in the videos. There's not really quality control in this company. As you can tell from the channel, it's just very lazy. I mean, what are they gonna do? Say no? I mean, this is their job. They would get fired for doing that, so they don't really have a choice. But I think this explains enough about how these channels work, and it's just strictly for money, nothing else. Which also brings me to another very important point to bring up about these channels, and this one in particular. The use of stolen fan art. Throughout this soulless process of pumping out content, it's the editor's job to make as many videos as possible. The managers and higher-ups only care about one thing. And no, silly, of course it's not morality. No, it's the money. Why would it be anything else? They, they don't care if they use stolen art. They just want the videos done, so they don't care. Hence why if you look at the channels, there is repeated usage of stolen fan art. They, I'm just, I'm surprised like they haven't gotten like a takedown notice or something like that because it is insane. Every video has fan art that is stolen. Now this is going to seem ironic later, but for them to be doing this after what happened to another one of their channels is crazy because, well, I can assure you, it doesn't get any better and I'll show you why in a little bit here but we're getting ahead of ourselves again. Now what I've heard through my anonymous source is that there was actively some employees that were blatantly aware of the stolen content with some of them actively against the use of stolen fan art. Yet again it brings me to the point I said earlier if they refuse to cooperate they would just be fired so regardless of the fact that some of them knew about the theft they could just easily have lost their jobs over complaining about it. So your best bet was to just keep a blind eye so you could keep your job which is very messed up but I think that's all that needs to be said to sum up this channel. It literally it really is just about the money, nothing else. But when you think it couldn't get any worse, it keeps going. One of, if not the main host of the channel, is another piece of this rabbit hole that I want to quickly discuss. Because from what I'm sure to be legal reasons, the main host, Connor, also known as the Cheese King, was an employee of the company since 2019, and worked on basic editing, thumbnail creation, and so on. It wasn't until 2020 when he was promoted to becoming a host of the channel. And he has been a host ever since, with him appearing in videos that were made as recent as today, and he is basically the face of the channel. But what if I told you that he actually isn't a host still, and actually departed from the team in July of last year. Well, I wish I was lying, but that is exactly what happened. Connor is no longer affiliated with the company and doesn't work for them anymore, but then why does he still appear in their videos? Well, oh boy, buckle up because this is probably one of the most scummy things this channel has ever done. Apart from the creepy thumbnails and stolen content, but you get the point. From what I assume to be legal reasons, this channel is still able to use Connor's likeness as he most likely doesn't actually own any of the content made for the channel, which means this channel can still continue to use any content he made during his time working for them. But don't worry, it gets even worse. Connor doesn't earn revenue from this. Through my anonymous source, anyone who has been laid off or fired no longer earns revenue from videos that they have previously posted or from new videos which have them in it, which is completely messed up. So then that brings us back to the beginning, talking about why these videos don't make sense and why they are so long and etc. Well, we are going to take a look at another channel real quick before we get into that, so I can show you even further proof of how bad this content farm is. Top 10 Gaming Elite is a channel that, while well, um, tried to be unique, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but this channel basically is just a compilation channel, and um, it has all of, like Top 10 Gaming's videos on it, but um, as you can see, it failed miserably. But hey, who cares, because that's exactly what the normal Top 10 channel does now, and at least it's doing uh, somewhat better, I guess. So basically, these channels aren't even Top 10s anymore. They've gotten so lazy that they've just made these into compilation videos that don't even really include content that re like relates to the video titles or thumbnail. It's just kind of whatever what they want to throw in like it's super scummy to do that you're literally just compiling videos that barely make sense to the thumbnail or even title it's just i don't i hate it so much i mean it, it just seems to keep getting worse the more and more i delve into this so anyways we took a deep look into the channel itself but we are missing the main piece of the puzzle here and that is the owner of the channels his name is landon doitzkson i i really i'm not even gonna try to and pronounce that last name i i am terrible with names but anyways there is a lot of lore 
lore behind this guy, and he has ran many YouTube channels over his 10 years of being on YouTube, along with him creating and producing this business of Content Farm Slapped, which as I said earlier, is responsible for the 30 plus channels of pure content farm just terribleness. Hell, he even got cancelled a couple years ago for something absolutely insane. So before I tell you, just prepare yourself because it, this is just so despicable. A couple years ago, he got cancelled for featuring dead bodies on his thumbnails, and while doing research for this video and looking through his personal YouTube channel, I found another video that had genuine dead bodies on its thumbnail, which is insane. Now, as I researched more into these channels and even stumbled upon the dead bodies that were still being featured in their thumbnails, I found something genuinely more f***ed up than that. And before I do begin to talk about this, please note that this is extremely NSFW. Um, I'll put a timestamp on screen right now when this segment is over, but serious viewer discretion is advised, and I, I mean genuinely serious because this is completely messed up. Now, I know that this video isn't talking about Landon, and it's just talking about the top 10 gaming channel, but this is just completely f***ed up on Landon's part, and I feel like it is something that needs to be brought up. And this is still even messed up on YouTube's part because this shouldn't be allowed. And I'm just genuinely in shock because this, I'm just surprised this is even on YouTube still. So on Landon's personal channel, Landon Productions, back when it was active 8 to 9 years ago, he would post clickbait content as well, regardless if it was true, misleading, and etc. All he cared about was getting views and money, hence why there is so much sexual content on this channel with literally one of the videos titled i am 14 years old and i look like this like are you serious can somebody please tell me why this is still up on his channel and then it gets even worse when you click and watch the video he specifically tells us that the image is of a real 14 year old and that a bunch of nsfw photos were leaked of hers and that she does not want them on the internet so you know what he does he makes a full three minute long video showcasing all of it but no again it gets fucking worse there's another video and well let me read the title for you 67 year old granny killed 10 people and dump the bodies and as you can see there's an old lady in the thumbnail and do you want to know what's next to it six decapitated heads real heads six genuine real decapitated heads i reverse google searched the image and it's real it's from a cartel website how the fuck is this still up he already got canceled for having dead bodies on his thumbnails before albeit the thumbnail he got canceled for wasn't as bad but this thumbnail is bloody gory and showcases six human heads how is this allowed along with the 14 year old video this guy is like 30 years old with kids how the hell is this okay this is insane how did youtube not take this down so to be honest i'm just kind of out of I, like i'm out of words at the moment this is all insane and i'm just sure that there's still more that can be discovered about this guy you can find out about him more in this video that i have on screen right now it, it goes more into his past and kind of his just personal life and just more stuff like that as i said this video is about the top 10 gaming channel but like still this landon guy is I don't even know what to say. So I think this brings us to the conclusion because personally, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> this is just so messed up. But seriously, there is clearly more serious issues at hand here other than the blatant content farming because when you have videos like this still posted on your personal YouTube channel, that is insane. The fact that YouTube even has this channel up is even more insane to me. Just imagine if a kid found that. Like kids watch the top 10 gaming channel 100%. Imagine being a parent and finding out the videos your kid watches is produced by someone who made videos featuring dead people and underage children. The rabbit hole only gets deeper too, but since I'm not trying to get sued or anything like that, I don't even want to continue talking about this. If you could please share this video to someone else or on the, some social media platform like Twitter, I, I, whatever, just please spread the message of this terrible, terrible YouTube channel. I know I said that this video isn't made to slander and it isn't, it's not made to slander or mislead anyone. It's literally on YouTube right now. You can look at his channel and find this. He isn't trying to hide this one bit because if he was, and even after the past controversy where he got canceled for featuring a dead body, he would want to delete this too. But I guess not? Like, I'm, I am don't know why the hell you would keep this up. This guy's been on the platform for over 10 years. He basically owns a monopoly of content farm channels and just rakes in millions and millions of dollars a month. And he has faced no consequences to any of his actions. These channels should not even be up anymore. Why would you want someone like this producing content like that? The fact this guy still has a platform baffles me. Anyways, I, I really don't know what else to say. You guys can go watch the uh, yeah video and the video I, I mentioned uh, um, earlier about this Landon dude, but um, I am um, I, I think I'm gonna take a break now, so.